Well, hello. What is going on? I'm so excited. I feel like I'm obsessed with this tattoo. I cannot get over it. My first takeaway in two years. What are you doing, Mum? Cool. Sorry. It's okay. It's been emotional. I need to get a wider angle lens. So we have come to the academy for the Lorraine show. How exciting! Just getting all the stuff right now. In the UK, after picking up a. How cool is that? Yeah. No, we're about to be on this. How exciting! Yeah, I have yet. Yeah. Finish, 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 finish. Yo, I've got another interview now. I'm just setting up on my laptop for a Zoom meeting. So I have had a fairly busy morning, to say the least. We had the Lorraine show this morning, which was quite exciting. I went on that with my family, so they come up to Manchester just to do that. Now I've got a little list of more interviews today. We've got BBC Sport News, GB News, Sky News, and then ITV Wales tonight. So we've got a pretty busy day uh, today as well, which is super exciting. It's quite fun, actually. It's very draining. I didn't think it'd be this kind of like tiring, but obviously it is. I'm enjoying it at the minute. It's quite fun. But this meeting starts at 12. It's now 11.52. Probably shouldn't be vlogging right now, to be quite honest with you. And probably should be starting this meeting. So, uh, yes, I'm going to... Go and do this one now, and I'll catch up when I'm done. Also, the guys have just ordered bar burrito, which is super exciting, so I've got a free burrito on the way. Uh, so that's gonna be cool. Yeah, it's in a bit. One of the gymnasts will be in the men's medley thing. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Many congratulations. Thank you. It's crazy, isn't it? I couldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. How heavy is it? So that's BBC Sport Wales done. Um, now I've got, I believe, GB News at 12.10. It's now 12.14. I've not received the Zoom link yet. Not really much I can do about that. And then I've got another one at 12.30. So now we're kind of fine. I'm not too sure I'll be able to do this GB one. I've not received the links, so I can't do it. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, first one out of the way. Or second one of the day out of the way. And it's going well. Oh my gosh. That was a lovely interview, actually. The lady was very nice. Let's keep it going. And Lauren and Bradley both. Join me now. Sit them. Oh, now back in the UK. Just finished up my Sky Sports Zoom interview with Bradley. We both did it live on Sky News, which was pretty cool. And that was a good interview, actually. I think it went very well. So uh, that's positive. I've got TalkSport at three or four o'clock. And then ITV are coming to my house tonight around seven-ish. So I've got to try and drive back to Wales pretty much now and get there as quick as possible, really. Traffic saying it's going to take me five hours. So best get a little squiggle on, haven't we? Was it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't get any now. This is embarrassing. <laughs> What's happening? You want cash back, Karen? You want cash back? <laughs> 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 Yeah, right on that line there. I think that's about the right spot. And if we get a family hug picture and tears straight Do you always wear glasses? Alright, brilliant. Brilliant. You all to take a tiny. Everybody clap your hands. Get your arms out, that's it. There you go. Yeah, that was a good one. We're doing it again. Look at <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a two or three. Seven, Seven, Seven for me. I love this number. This is my first takeaway. This is my first takeaway. Oh my god, I got a burrito from Barberito. And I got some barbecue wings. Pen. Mate, how do you even tackle these? This is huge. Just need a big dog. Mmm! Oh, it's so good! Mmm. Pen. I'm enjoying my first takeaway 
slash fast food in probably like two years. I'm not even joking. And this, so, so good. I got a veggie burrito. I don't know if you can see it. But it's like, got like beans, a lot of mixed veg. I think it's called the superfood burrito. Not too sure, but I got that and it's huge. I'm gonna enjoy this now on my drive home. And then I've got a few media interviews still. I'm trying to make it back for six because I've got ITV supposedly, but I don't think that's going to happen because my ETA says 6.40 and the chances of that being right are very accurate. I might have to give that interview a miss and I'll get a rearranged little slot, I'm imagining. I'm going to drive home now and here's the start of my holiday. <laughs> My mum's actually cooking for me for the first time in how long? Oh God, Probably yes. like, I don't know, five or six years. I can normally can't get in the kitchen. One cheese you can't get in the kitchen. Two of them always dieting, so she's never cooked for me. But now I can enjoy meals with them. So I refuse to cook for the next, I don't know, like month or so. So my mum's gonna do it all for me. This is so good. So you're now having salmon and pea pesto spaghetti? Mmm. Well, hello, what is going on? I'm about to leave to go out for some food. Tandy's in the background there. We are going to somewhere called The Harvester. It's a place in Wales. It's like a pub grill kind of vibe. Um, the first time I'm eating out since I come back. Mum, are you excited? Yeah. Scale of one to excited. How excited are you? Oh, plus 20. I don't know what I'm going to get. Probably some sort of, I don't really want a steak because I've had a steak already. I feel like I want to go for some sort of burger, but I'm not particularly hungry. It's kind of like a weird vibe, but we'll see when I get there. There's also like a little salad thing, starter vibe going on. So I'm super excited. Can't wait. First time eating out. I've got so many occasions this week to eat out as well. Like my sister's birthday is on Wednesday and then we're going for a meal to like a buffet or you can eat on Sunday, which is going to be dangerous. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have like kind of a little blowout this week. I've had a bit of a relaxed week up to now. I'm really careful. I'm obviously not going to go stupid, but... I'm definitely going to enjoy myself because I've not enjoyed myself for a very long time. So yes, I'm going to shut up now. Love you and leave you. Hopefully you can see me eating some sort of burger in a minute. Who knows? <laughs> I don't really want a steak because I've had a steak already. I feel like I want to go for some sort of burger. <laughs> I full on got a full coma now. The insurance, the vaccine for the dog. Full coma. Remember? I polished the whole thing off like 10 ounce. <coughs> Sirloin was it? Sirloin steak. I could fully go to bed right now. Flat. <laughs> I'm currently blowing up bones for my sister. These are the ones that we're doing at the moment. Sometimes. Oh, I don't know. torture for these. They love Oi, stop it! So we've got one of them blue arch things that we got. We're trying to figure out how to like create a massive arch. Hmm. You have so many balloons to blow up. <laughs> it's going to take ages. I'm so glad we've got one of these though. It makes it so much easier. It's huge. One down, 300 to go. <laughs> You're right, love. We've got to stand off. Is this miserable? Don't you dare attack me. Look how miserable she looks. She's going to not your balloon. <laughs> no. No. She's trying to protect her. No. no. Leave it. They're not your balloons. Be nice. Be nice. <laughs> She's killing her. Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, the 
cake looks beautiful. These dogs really want a piece. <laughs> My auntie actually made that cake. Uh, it looks beautiful. So I don't know why I've got sunglasses on. I can't see. Since I've come back from Japan, I think I've burnt my eyes. Like, I'm not even joking. I think I've actually got like sun. What is it? I think I've sun damaged my eyes. I'm not even joking. I'm like squinting and it's cloudy. We're waiting for my sister. We've set the garden up, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, not a lot's going on really. Um, we're waiting for my sister to turn up. The dog wants to clean up because she wants cake. Um, she's come with a boyfriend. She has no idea what we're doing. We've got like a little hamper thing set up for her as well, which is quite cute. I burnt the pizza, so we no longer have pizza, so that's fun. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with myself. Yeah. What are you doing, Mum? Cool. Cool, sorry. See you a bit. Happy birthday! I am on my way. I can't believe I'm actually doing it. This is crazy. Okay, so I'm on my way to go and get my tattoo. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't actually, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know actually. I'm excited for it, but I feel like it's, I don't know. It's just, I just feel like it's another event on my to-do list. I don't really know what, how I feel about the situation. This will just complete my whole Olympic experience, I think. I'm gonna get it, not here, not on this arm, but like here somewhere. I don't know, I'm holding my phone, I can't really show you. Yes, I'm going to a place in town, quite local to me. I feel like I'm all Olympic'd out. Got my little Olympic nails, which is cute. Don't want it in color because I feel like the yellow and that will start to fade over time. And obviously on my skin. I'm quite like a yellow person. I've got a yellow complexion, if that makes sense. Like I'm not, I don't know. I'm not tanned, I'm not like pale, I'm in between. So yeah, I just feel like it wouldn't really suit my skin tone. So I'm gonna go for the black slash green because I think it is green. I don't think it is actual black ink, but uh, similar to one of my rib. But yeah, I'm excited, so let's go. Just going to draw up the stencil now. Love it, <laughs> so cute. It's a nice place one for as well. I feel like the rest of it. Love it. Getting warm, soapy water. You could do it too. So, I'm going to have some tacky amount on the top. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I love it. I didn't think I'd. I didn't think I'd be this excited. Oh my god, it's in such a cute place. Look. Oh my god. I'm on the way back now. That is so cute. So we did try a few like different sizes and this was bigger than i initially wanted but because the rings are like so small and it's in such a small place it'll just go like a blob over time so this was the best size and wait i'm putting you on top of my car taking my mask off this is the best size i feel like i've got so many rings going on this is a bit mad but yeah i'm super happy with this um rest of the day i've not really got anything on i'm gonna go down and see my mum in the college now take a few photos with my medal because there's somebody there that wanted to see my medal uh so i'm gonna do that show him a little tat and go and train my dog because she's an untrained little frenchie and she needs help so that's the uh, that's it for now i definitely need a wee i can't be doing a nature wee because that's inappropriate i'm gonna go and dash to the college quick when my mum works and then catch your reaction Okay, so it should be in about 20 seconds and I promised myself I wouldn't film again or say how excited I am ever again. But I'm so excited. I feel like I'm obsessed with this tattoo. I cannot get over it. Ah! I was so skeptical about where to get it. Oh my gosh, my wrist is cute. I know Simone Biles has got one like a bit further up. I can't point because I'm holding the phone, but I know Simone's got one a bit further up, like up here. And that's where I got my little inspo from because I loved it on her forearm. And so I didn't want a massive one because I don't know, I just, I'm not a tattoo person. My last tattoo artist said that with the rings, because they're not, because they're circle and your skin's not like a flat canvas, it's not like a piece of paper. When you draw the rings on it, it can be quite overly. So we recommended something in the background. So I went away, thought about it and thought, mm, I don't really have any interests other than the rings. Like there's nothing that 
stands out that I'd want in the background. I know other athletes have got like squiggly bits in it, and but I just wanted the rings plain. I didn't want colour either. So I just went for it. I went for a little dainty version on my arm. Ah! Do you know what? If it looks a bit overly, it looks a bit overly. I'm not perfect, so the tattoo doesn't have to be. If it looks wonky, it looks wonky. I'm wonky as well, so I suppose it's fitting. But yeah, I'm super happy. Don't know if you can tell, but I'm rather excited about the situation. So yeah, that's the end of my little tattoo little bit. Um, yeah. I did think about it being on like under my arm, like here on my bicep. Um, the, the whole ankle thing. I don't think I'll ever get names of like the games I've been to. I'll probably never get that because I don't know. It's just not something that appeals to me. You keep the rings for life. You know, it's been such a big part of my life. I was very keen to get the rings tattooed because the Olympics is such a big part of my life. And, you know, only 300 people in Great Britain got to go. Only 11,000 athletes in the world got to go. Like, there are 7 billion people on this planet and only 11,000 got to go and only 300 in my country. That is a huge honour to even be selected for a Games. If I didn't medal, I would not have got it. But I think it's been such a big part of my life. We've had so many sacrifices for this event. It just means so much to me. So I am that girl who's gone and got the tattoo. I don't mind. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to my family. So... Yes, although I'm not a tattoo person, I've got meaningful tattoos. I've got the I've got this on my ribs, like a little feather thing. That's a family thing. The reason I got the feather tattoo, when my nana and gramps died, there was this thing, it's like a family thing, where we were in the living room and there was no signs of animals, wildlife, whatever. And a feather just floated and like landed on the carpet. And it was a bit, it was one of the moments, obviously my... My, na my granddad had just passed and it was one of the moments like that's him and we've always been that kind of family that you can feel presences and you can just tell when someone's in the room or oh, that's what we believe anyway that's what we like to believe um and from that moment little weird things will happen so we'll be talking about a family member or we'll be at a family event and a feather would land but it just seems so random like you couldn't have it couldn't have fallen from a bird because there's no birds around like things like that in the living room how would a feather land in the living room so it just become a thing where it was just nice to think that that was my nan or that was my granddad in the room that was just our little thing and it stuck and funnily enough when family came to the house for the olympics just gone they were all in the garden and my dad panned a video around the garden and there was nothing my mom took a picture at the same time they've got the times on the phone the video and the picture there was no feather in the video, but the picture that my mum took had like a white feather on the on the screen, like floating. And my mum and dad put the two side by side, the exact same time it says it on the iPhone. And um, yeah, the feather was only on my mum's. And it just, to us, that's such a nice moment that, you know, my, I feel like my nan and my nan and gramps was there. And obviously that's what the whole feather thing means. It's like the family that have gone, the family that have passed, they're always going to be by my side. So that was kind of the my thought process behind it and the reason I got it. And yeah, that's the story behind that one. So this one has meaning, of course, the Olympic Games. I'm not one to go and get a sleeve or anything like that. Although I did contemplate it, that's not going to happen. I'm stuck with this now. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy. As far as tattoos go, this is it. And unless I go through some sort of weird tattoo stage and i want a full sleeve but i can't see that happening so yeah i'm excited that's me all olympic out. i'm gonna go down to the college now see my mum's friends and yeah i shall catch you in a bit <laughs> also just while i'm on my way to my mum's look how cute this little pouch is my mum's best friend linda made it i'm basically gonna call my auntie because she very much is auntie linda made me a little pouch for my medals my medals in here i don't know if you can see it i'm not gonna get it out because i've just got it out to me so um, but yeah, this is my little knitted pouch. She knitted it herself, so I'm so happy about that. I actually really love it. I just wanted to show you that because I'm, I'm in love with it. There's a lot of love today. There's, there's a lot of love. Look, I love it. There's, there's a lot of love going on. The sun's out. I feel like I'm in a good mood. It's a good day. Just come to my mum's work to come and see some people. Now I'll be heading back.